Welcome everyone. The first live activities iOS 16 app is one widget. There are multiple of these on the app store. Use the one with this icon. So if I start from scratch, by default, you'll be brought to this lock screen widget view. What you're gonna do is you're gonna tap on your profile picture here. You're gonna see the explore dynamic island feature. You don't need dynamic island for this to work. And from here, we have a bunch of options. So we have pet, you can set a pet to show up on your lock screen, waste of space. You have launcher, so by default, nothing will be here. If you tap on the plus, you can select applications that you can open up from the lock screen. So you tap on plus, select the app, and when you tap on the app icon, it will actually open up the app, which is really cool. You have sleeping and health. Launcher is the only one I find you know, useful. You can play around with the others. And so when we tap on start, we go to lock screen, you can see we have this live activity. You may need to tap on the keep option. And when you tap on the app, it opens the application directly. Uh, you also notice any dynamic island, we have this here. If you long press, you can see those apps. I personally don't like this showing up, so I'm going to slide from the far left to the middle, and that will hide the app. Footmob, this is only for people who care about football. If a game is live and you favorite it, it will show up on the lock screen. So I have this game here, my favorite. And because it's running right now, it shows on the lock screen. If the game isn't running, it will not show up on the lock screen. The next is shelf. So if I tap on continue here, this allows you to, you know, add your own photo as a live activity, uh, it allows you to add text, actions, so let's do a photo here and I'm going to select the photo and let's say uh, this lovely iPad picture. Uh, you can, you know, change how the uh, picture looks like. And we have all these different options here. So you can have a preview for the dynamic islands and you can also have this S which uh, is not useful. And once you're ready to go, you just tap on launch okay and now take a look at that you can see uh, the picture is always going to show up uh, you also have it in the dynamic islands and if you long press you can see the full image again if you do use the live activities just close out of the dynamic island uh, if you don't like it we then have lock launcher so this is similar to the one widget but there is a difference because if I tap on add, choose action, I'm not just restricted to the applications. I can choose system settings. So from the lock screen, if I want to change the Wi-Fi settings, boom. Okay, and I'm gonna tap on save. And you just repeat this action, okay? It's quite simple. I'm gonna do this uh, you know, two more times. So we'll go system settings, and I want to go to the hotspot settings, right? If you care about hotspot, you can have it straight on the lock screen. Okay, let's go one more time. I want to change my Bluetooth, boom. And once you have this right here, you just need to tap on this icon, the far right. And now you can see we have all of this right here. Boom, it goes straight to the Wi-Fi settings. Uh, of course, you will need to keep this one so it doesn't take half the screen boom straight to the Bluetooth settings at any time we then have sticky timers if you want to start a timer or well then you start a timer like this and you can see it will show up on the lock screen you can stop the timer you can have multiple timers running okay we then have tide guide so it will ask for your location there'll be 20 like buy me pop-ups you can just tap on the X this is all free okay and from here, uh, let's say I want to have the falling tide, whatever. Just tap on the play. And you can have a live activity with a tide height. Solar, which is, you know, when the sun rises and when it doesn't rise. Lunar, which is, I'm assuming, the moon. And then the next tide. So I'm going to select solar. And when I run this on my lock screen, I can now see, you know, when it's dark, when it's bright, sunset and sunrise. And then we have dark hue. 
This is a paid application, but it's made by a fellow YouTuber, so I'm gonna shell it. Uh, right now it's very basic. You just tap on this icon here, activate live activity, and then you can see it just shows the date. Hopefully in the future, it will show a, a little bit more than a date, but uh, that's how it is for now. So those are the best apps. I just chose applications which I would actually use, not applications which make a 10 minute video. With that being said, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Bye-bye.